The National Weather Service confirms a tornado touched down in Maryland from the powerful line of storms that moved through the state this time yesterday. Mike Helgren is live in the Silver Spring neighborhood that bore the brunt of the damage. He has new eyewitness accounts and the cleanup that's underway right now. We can hear the chainsaws back there, Mike. You certainly can, Vic. This area was never under, under a tornado warning, rather just a severe thunderstorm warning when the storms rolled through. We want to show you the worst of the damage. Uh, you can see some of the large trees that are on the ground here, power lines, and this house had a lot of damage. They're working right now on the roof that essentially collapsed in. And then the corner of the house, you can see it just kind of pulled away. There was a woman inside at the time, but she's going to be okay. Oh my God. The whole tree came down. Shock in Silver Spring after a tornado touched down in the Four Corners neighborhood as a strong storm front pushed through Monday afternoon. It was just this constant bam, bam, bam. I mean, but I mean, it was a sound I've never heard that intense. Julia Kemp survived the frightening seconds in her bedroom upstairs. I think I still feel a little bit of shock because the sound of the wind, the crashing into the roof, and it literally felt like my house was going to lift up and fly. The tornado went right down Dennis Avenue. It was two tenths of a mile long and 100 yards wide. You can see more of the damage left behind. The tornado uprooted large trees in Silver Spring. The National Weather Service confirms it was an EF zero with winds of 70 miles an hour. It was on the ground for just one minute. For so James Aiken, that heart pounding 60 seconds felt much longer. Yeah. Saw branches flying and then basically saw a big wall of water. It was crazy. Winds also toppled trees in Annapolis and in Baltimore. It's best we all come together in times like this, you know. I've had several people in the neighborhood stop and ask just to help. Back on Dennis Avenue, there were only minor injuries, including a woman who hit her head when the tornado ripped apart her house, which has since been condemned. Hey. She's going to be okay, thank God. Thank God. It could have been so much worse. I mean, that's what all that matters, really. You can clean this stuff up. And you're looking live at some of the damage again. The cleanup here will take some time. We should point out that the FAA's radar at Joint Base Andrews did show a slight rotation when the storms passed through this area. Live in Silver Spring, Mike Helgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. Mike, thank you. National Weather Service investigators are also looking into whether a tornado touched down in York, Pennsylvania during the storms yesterday.